Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today, we'll show you a 2021 family comedy cartoon called Monster Family 2. Beware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. The film starts a year after the events of the first film. In the mountains, a little girl sneaks into the castle of Dracula, where he is frozen. The girl makes him alive by the power of sun. The girl introduces herself by the name Mila Star and informs the Dracula she has some tests to do. Dracula resists against the girl, but the girl traps him inside a falling luster. Mila informs her parents that she got Dracula and asks for her next mission. She is told to capture a witch, Baba Yaga. Max becomes a fake scientist with magical ambulant and starts to experiment some tests over the magical ambulant. He wants to use the magical ambulant to make the world a better place, just like his heroes, the stars. But his experiments don't have any good results. He records all of his experiments and uploads them to the internet which causes his school friends to mock him. Faye, his sister, is also tired of his situation and tells him that she is embarrassed by his attitude in the school. But he reminds her that she is dropping out of school and there is nothing to worry her. You may ask why? Because she thinks that all of her friends have talent in at least one thing, dancing, singing, or science, but she has nothing. The family is again in an unhappy state. But in this situation, they have act cool, because they have a wedding to go. The witch, Baba Yaga, and the Dracula's assistant, Renfield. On the way to the wedding, Faye discusses that her parents doesn't make time for her and informs her parents that she is dropping out of school because she is not good at anything. The family tells her that they are not that kind of family who look after their kids every day, but they trust Faye and Max to make their own decision about their life. Eventually, they arrive at the church on time. In front of the church, Max spots two of his school classmates and tries to catch their attention by acting cool, but everything goes wrong and he is mocked again. His mother, Emma, saw this and wonders to inform the school about this, but Max tells her that this only makes it worse. Inside, Baba Yaga and Renfield are ready for the wedding and Baba Yaga tells them to at least be happy for their wedding. As the pair is going to be announced wife and husband, they are interrupted by Mila, who tries to abduct Baba Yaga. The witch asks for her magical ambulant, but the clumsy Max cannot give her on time and attempts to stop Mila by himself, but falls in love with her at the first sight. Mila mocks him due to his clothes and called him a pizza boy. After the family tries unsuccessfully to stop Mila, Max tries to stop her by robbing the controller of her drone but during their fight, they accidentally kissed each other. Eventually, Mila manages to abduct Baba Yaga. Renfield also follows Mila in order to save her wife. As the family recovers from the incident, Max concludes that if he becomes a werewolf he can save his grandparents. He casts a spell, but as the family tries to stop him, they are also transformed into monsters, Frankenstein, Dracula, and Mummy. Mila gets back to her home and we understand that she is the daughter of Star's family, genius couple who apparently wants to make the world a better place. Mila asks for a hangout, but her mother reminds her to stay strong, because their ambition is to save humankind. The father informs Mila of her next targets. Nessie, Yeti, and giant ape King Konga. The big monsters are not going to fit inside their prison. So Star's family invents a shrinking device, which make everything small. For their first victim, they shrink the Renfield, who tries to attack them, which successfully works and makes him small. Mila wonders to become just like her parents when she grows up. Happy, she departs to hunt the monsters. The family wonders to get back to their original form, but Max reminds them in order to get to their original form, they must be happy again. Max reveals that he can use the magical ambulant to find where their grandparents are, but instead, he finds Mila through it. She is going to Scotland, Loch Ness. The family decides to make their way to Scotland by the teleportation ability of magical ambulant, but after several fail attempts, Frankenstein reminds them of the Dracula's jet, in their farmhouse. They go to the farmhouse, and after hypnotizing the farmer, they make their way towards Scotland. As they arrive to Loch Ness, they encounter Mila, who is preparing to hunt down Nessie, monster of Scotland. 
Monster family tries to stop Mila, but all of them are knocked out by Mila due to her smartness. Only Max remains, who follows her down deep into the lake where Nessie is living. As Mila finds the hiding monster, Max tries to stop her. After some struggles, Mila knocks him out and shrinks Nessie and imprison her. She also saves Max from drowning. After successfully doing CPR, Mila is impressed by Max's bravery and Max is impressed because she saves him. Mila introduces herself and Max understands that she is the daughter of Star's family. Max is confused that why he doesn't know about her, after all, he knows every detail about Star's family. This makes Mila that if she is on the right side or not. Max convinces his family to follow her because she is not a monster and has to save her from making another bad decision. So they follow her to the Himalayas. After arriving at Himalayas, they soon discover that she is after the Yeti. After an unsuccessful attempt to make conversation with the Yeti, Frank throws in Snowball and becomes his new best friend. But Mila arrives and shrinks Yeti and imprison him too. As she was preparing to leave the mountains, Faye tries to stop her by her mummy's ability, but causes an avalanche. After the avalanche, the family saves Mila from falling to her death. The family ask Mila that why she is kidnapping monsters. Mila replies that she is only doing what she was told to do and only do her job to save the world. At the last moment, Max asks Mila to ask her parents to understand what their plan is. When Mila gets home, she asks her parents why they are kidnapping these monsters. The parents decide it is time to show the true reason. They make their way up to Level X, a secret laboratory in space. Her parents reveal that they are kidnapping the monsters to run some tests on them to understand the reason they are living for centuries to make something that can transport this ability to them to live forever. This explanation convinces Mila to hunt down the last monster. As she leaves the laboratory, the parents reveal that they have an unknown test subject for their work. Max finds where is Mila heading and their next destination, the Tora Tora Island. At island, Max friendly asks Mila that what is her family plan and where are they. But Mila refuses to tell him because it's a top secret. So the family prepares themselves to stop Mila by force. Suddenly, the last monster appears, King Konga. As Mila tries to shrink, the family tries to subdue the king by making the monster dancing, which successfully works. Finally, Max and Mila share some sweet moments. Faye realizes that she is good at working with animals, finding her true ambition. Max finds Mila around the lake and Mila confess that she is having fun for the first time in a while because she thinks that her parents doesn't make her happy at all. Instead, they have educated their daughter in every aspect. She doesn't like this situation at all, but she thinks she has to become perfect in order to make her family proud. Max reassures her that, her family is proud of her without any condition and likes her as the way she is, just like his family. Now they are more than just normal friends. Back to the laboratory, her family is shocked to see their daughter hanging out with a monster. The next day, as the family is sleeping, Mila awakes to find out that her mother is sick. Her father informs her that the only way to save her is the machine and to start the machine, they need all five monsters. Upset, Mila shrinks apes and make her way back to laboratory. After putting the last monster in his prison, the machine begins to work and do some process on monsters and injects the energy which comes from the monster to the test subject which comes back to life. Mila understands that her mother is fine and the test subject is another version of herself. Confused, her parents inform her that the idea to become immortals was impossible and that they decide to extend their intelligence to the next generation. They try really hard to make her to the version that they want, but they were never satisfied with the result so they decide to make a backup of her to satisfy their wonder. They also inform her that she is not their real daughter and they have adopted her. The woman orders her new Mila to get rid of the real Mila as soon as possible. Mila runs away. The family finds out Mila and the apes are gone. Max tries to find her with Magic Ambulant to no result. Emma persuades Max to use teleportation to find Mila, which works. After Mila defends herself and realize how bad she was acting, they decide to help her to stop Star's family. But the second Mila interrupts them and a fight occurs between the two Mila, 
The real Mila falls down but Max jumps after to save her and unfortunately teleports themselves into the upper section of laboratory, in space. Mila tries to make Max calm and think about his family, to do the teleportation right. They successfully teleport themselves back to his family. After they reunite each other, the curse breaks out but surprisingly nothing changes and they are still monsters. Max reveals that he cannot be happy as long as Mila doesn't have anyone. The second Mila reappears again, but this time family starts to fight her back, supporting the original Mila. A second Mila manages to beat them all and gift them to the stars, as new monsters. Original Mila apologizes to the family, but Max reassures her that it is okay to make mistake. After confessing that they are the best family in the world, Max gets happy, and the family gets back to their original form. Stars orders second Mila to get rid of them, but Max sees that Dracula's bats are making their way up to the laboratory with the shrinkage device, their only chance to beat this situation, decides to make up some time for them to arrive. He start to sing a song, I'm only human, to waste some more time. He successfully gets to the shrinkage device, and shrinks the parents, and tries to shrink the second Mila. The family starts to free Monster from their prison. As the stars try to escape from the laboratory, a battle occurs between two Mila. Max is confused to shoot which one until the real Mila calls him the pizza boy and he shoots the second Mila. After Dracula gets free, he claims that he finally can revenge. Max uses the shrinkage device to make him small and Renfield slabs him like a fly into the camera. The lab starts to fall apart and everyone leaves it but Max and original Mila stays back to save the second Mila. During the rescue mission, Max falls down and Mila attempts to save him but second Mila causes problem another time. With a great teamwork, they manage to escape the collapsing lab and also get rid of the second Mila by colliding into the escaping stars. In the aftermath, Max reveals to Mila that he completely believes in her and they share a kiss. Back to their home, the family attends at the wedding with all of the monsters. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.